ringing for one of these guys. Because these guys in these beds, they have more girlfriends than you and me put together. Because you as a disc jockey, and me as the king of the disc jockeys, we think that we've got all the girls in the world that move me and these guys in. They are the governors, because they get phone calls by the minute. Sometimes they've got girlfriends queuing up downstairs. We only let them in one at a time, you see. And the only reason I'm friendly with people like this is because I nick what he doesn't want. <laughs> so then, you see. Now, Joe, we've got a message for our guys and girls in Harlow. Listen, what you're doing for us here is tremendous. What you're doing for Bonzo here has got the spikiest hair in the world, such a macho situation. And it's damp because it's just been washed, does it? <laughs> and it's washed because they want to be all puff and stuff, looking good for you, you see. So if I leave it his face like this, and I say, as it happens, what you're doing for us is tremendous. Uh, if any of you, just swing over, if any of you look like this, then I would like you to just call in here because I've got some medical examinations I'd like to do. But if you don't look like that, it doesn't matter because if he did come in, he'd probably pinch you off me anyway. So, what you're doing for us is getting a few quid for people that need it. Have yourselves a good time. Come and see us as visitors. Don't finish up with us. But there's an old saying, you can't take your money with you, but you can send it on in advance. So every pound you pump to us, you'll get it back tenfold. All right? Now, about these birds you said you were going to bring me, you never did. Now, what is the position? Hmm. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know nothing here, about this here is a message from our sponsor. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Good. If I start, because that's what I am, Brass yeah. Britain. All right, so. then, go on then. So, Jim, what do you think of it then? Oh, my goodness. Great ship, great occasion, and a great addition to a great country. It's flagged in Southampton. Not many big ships are like that these days. They're flagging all these ports that they don't pay big taxes on. But North of now. Flagged in Southampton, and it puts the great into Great Britain. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed, Sam. You've had a brief look around yeah, I haven't seen nearly enough of it yet, but it seems amazing. It is amazing. I mean, it's sort of like the glamour days of Hollywood, isn't it? It's really, really luxurious, and I'm sure people will have a lovely time here, and the staff seem to be lovely, so... What a treat to be here, isn't it? What a historic occasion. I'm really thrilled. Thank you very much, Lisa. Some of those household names are now critical of the clear-out. They had a good scene going once, and I have an old saying, if it ain't broken, you don't need to fix it. And you sling off what people are used to, and you get places like hairdressers' shops and things like that, that have had this audible wallpaper for as long as Radio 1's been going, and now they're chatting. Well, of course, they don't want that, they just want audible wallpaper, and Radio 1 was terrific. I'm sure they know what they're doing, but who knows? She never complained, but Jersey Police today confirmed it had investigated a separate alleged assault by Jimmy Savile at the notorious former children's home Hope de la Garenne, but there wasn't enough evidence. For Dee This was Jimmy Savile in Jersey 40 years ago, around the time when Dee alleges he attacked her. But why has she, like the other women, waited until his death to speak out? They're driving a more modest car today. Jimmy Savile's owned 19 Rolls Royces since he first fell in love with them. It's character and it's very British and it's very good and it sorts out the men from the boys. Businessmen and business ladies, you don't need me to tell you that the long drive before a long meeting is a bit of a strain. So why not do what I do? Take the train.
you won't catch one of these in a traffic jam. It flies along while you relax. No strain, no tension, no hassle. And the less of all that you have in your busy lives, the better. I travel about 39,000 rail miles a year on business. Much more comfortable and less worrying than driving. I get to meetings relaxed and on time because... This is the of the train. Now, there are fantastic new low fares from London called Intercity Savers. Ask for details about these astonishing bargains on many trains to hundreds of towns, like London to Manchester, just £11 return, London to Cardiff, £12, to Birmingham, £7, to Bristol, £10, London to Leeds, £12. Take an Intercity Saver because someone somewhere is waiting for you in Norwich, Glasgow, Coventry, Swansea, Sheffield, Preston, Plymouth, Darlington, Blackpool, Exeter... A lot of letters from everybody, all wanting to meet one Rod Hull and one Emu. We have three of them here just now, you see, and these three was all very, very keen. So how about a big welcome for Rod Hull and his dear friend? Wow. Not a nest. Not a nest. Isn't it? Not Hello. a nest. Harry, oh, is this lovely? Not a nest. We do like Christmas. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get all comfortable. That's <laughs> it. I'm terrified. Rob? Yes. And Mr. Mr. Emu. E. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks no. it's a worm, isn't it? <laughs> Not a worm, it's oh, a finger. Yeah. Uh, now then, those two young ladies there, and that gentleman there, have got... <laughs> What's the matter? ...have got certain things that they would like to ask you, starting with that young lady at the front end. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's another review. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> One of its eyes has fallen off. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's very pretty. Did you make that yourself? It's good, actually, with a sock, isn't it? Because you can do lots of, lots of things like that, can't you? Did you like it? Say yes. Go on. <laughs> That's all right. And there's another sock yes. there. Oh, that? oh look. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas time, you see. That's what it is. <laughs> and who's this chap? Where's yours? They've, they've all got questions, by the way. I'd like them to ask you the questions that they've got to ask you because I think that. Ah! Don't keep doing that. <laughs> I told you that. I think they're a little bit overawed. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, they're a little bit overawed. Yeah. Now, ask the question. Yeah, that's, that's my ashtray. That's my ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know, I know what I'll do. I shall start to smoke a cigar. Ah, stop me again. I'm going to smoke a cigar and that'll keep him well out of the way. Right, Good now idea. then, why don't you ask the question once you're at it? What is that? Ask the question. That's a lovely worm, isn't it? No, it's not a worm. Ah, 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 stop the cigar. Harry! 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 Oh. What are these questions? What are these questions? Uh, what do emus like best to eat? What do emus like best to eat? Cigars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that, don't we? You like worm sandwiches, <laughs> don't you? And cabbage water. It's lovely, isn't it? Eh? You like that, don't you? See, look. There. <laughs> The chairs collapsed. <laughs> 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 Welcome to chair to see you. Welcome to chair. Welcome to chair. Here we go, chair. Sitting. If I show you, got Sit on it this way. Rotten furniture on this shelf. Sit on it that way. Right. I'm all right, Jim. Ah! Right, it'll be all right, Jim. Yeah, balance on it. Oh, this is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, carry on. Yes. 
what, what was the other question? What was the other question? <laughs> Order. Can we have some when new you chairs? write the scripts, does he you write his own parts? When I scripts. write the scripts, uh -huh. does, does he, he write, write his own parts? He, uh, he certainly does. <laughs> yes, he, he wouldn't let me write. In fact, he's just written a whole... In fact, the, the pantomime we've just rushed from, Jim, to be here. He's Thank written you. the whole pantomime. And it's on in London if you want to go and see it. And it's, if you any complaints, he's written it, you see. <laughs> yes, stop it! I don't! <laughs> Very nice. They're good questions, aren't they? And what's your question? Could I ask him if I could pull his tail? <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Come on, I'll have a go. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Sorry. Oh. 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 Is that is that what you wanted? Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's for you. Oh. One for you. you. And the other feather there, isn't that? There you got one each. Is that is that good? If we could just call a uh, half a halt at the moment because we are going to see Rod and Emu a bit later on, you see. But first of all, I wanted to do something very special, and that was we got a letter from Rug Rugby. <laughs>